Let's move on to earnings corner. IT major Wipro came out with a disappointing set of third quarter numbers. The company reported a big miss on the revenue front, with dollar revenue down by about 0.7 percent. The company's guidance for the fourth quarter was also disappointing, with the company giving a guidance of only 1 to 2 percent. And that is perhaps what could worry the street tomorrow. Rimati Mandalkar is here with the fine print of the numbers. Uh, Rima, yet another not so great quarter for Wipro. Yes, for Wipro, it's the same story. The growth continues to elude Wipro. The company has mistreat expectations on the top line as well as their Q4 guidance, even as the margins have beaten expectation. So Q3 numbers, dollar revenue down 0.7%, rupee revenues up half a percent, while margins have expanded by 50 basis points to 18.3%. Constant currency growth at 0.6% is at the lower end compared to the company's own guided band of 0 to 2%. But remember, this quarter we would have got the one-month contribution from the Aperio acquisition. Despite that, the revenues are looking quite subdued. Also, if you map the constant currency growth on a year-on-year -year basis, you can see it's come down now to 6.2% versus 9.5% two quarters ago. The bigger miss is their Q4 guidance, just at 1-2% to versus expectations of at least a 2-4% to guidance. And remember, Q4 will also get a two-month contribution from the Aperio acquisition. So on an inorganic basis, sorry, on an organic basis, their guide, uh, you know, the guidance for Q4 could very well be negative. Uh, just a quick, uh, you know, status check of how the four IT majors are now looking like once the, you know, Q3 numbers are reported. Clearly, it's ACL technology which leads <laughs> in terms of the revenue performance. So, dollar revenue growth for HCL was at 1.35 percent. In constant currency terms, it was 3 percent superior to that of its peers. While in terms of margins, it's TCS which continues to hold the lead at 26 percent. But on the whole, the margin performance of the four IT companies was not bad this time around.